Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and I'm here at the gallery with a general tarot reading. This is an ongoing Cards of Truth series for the entire 52 card deck. Here is a chart to find your birth card. I've already cleared the cards and spent time meditating on my shooting star spread. I'm using the Cards of Truth deck for the overall starting point and then clarifying with the Ethereal Visions deck. I chose this deck because it has an artist card added into the Major Arcana. I'll close with a message from Spirit with the Soul's Journey Lesson cards. If you'd like to know more about today's card, please pause the video and read the description box below. Okay, I'm going to adjust the camera now so that you can see the card spread for today. This is a reading for all Four of Hearts birth cards. This is the Shooting Star spread. It's a three card spread about unblocking or heightening your creative flow. I like to take cards that spring from the deck while shuffling and that can take a while. So I've already done that and laid out the cards. There's no wrong way to choose cards. This is just what works for me. First row here represents your inner and outer resources, like the self note position in the Cards of Truth birth chart. Easily accessible because it's what you bring with you from past lives. However, there is a possibility it's so easy it's taken for granted. Second row is about tapping into what motivates you. Here it's more or less the Rahu position, the North node as it will naturally assist your soul's full potential. Third rose, what source would like to share as guidance? Pure and simple. All right, let's take a look at the first row. For this four of hearts, we have a three of diamonds. This card is always in movement. It is always moving, looking for something better, to improve your life or your existence. A beautiful card for a Four of Hearts to embody because you're so stable in your own comforts and having the ability to have enough, really, for, for what your lifestyle requires. Really quite lovely for a creative. We then have the Ace of Wands. I love the Aces because this is all about births of ideas, new beginning. It's inspiration, potential. It's um, enthusiasm and creativity all wrapped up into one beautiful card. Do you have that on a regular basis in your toolbox, readily accessible? The Five of Pentacles is an also an interesting card for you to get as the Five of Pentacles talks about finding your tribe, and it can happen through trial and error. It's um, finding yourself in difficult situations and finding the people that can relate to that as well. Like I said, finding your tribe, really a beautiful card. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is in reverse, so this will talk about having a stuck energy or maybe something in the subconscious that hasn't really surfaced yet. Um, I'm seeing it more as a stuck energy because it does relate back to the three of diamonds as far as not being totally satisfied with the status quo. And here, the nine of pentacles is all about enjoying those satisfactions, those rewards for your hard work. So, yeah, interesting. Motivation, Ten of Hearts. This is also an incredibly stable place for you to be being motivated from. This is all about being practical and able. It's success with your um, ingenuity. It is... Um, Oh, yes, it is the wish card. It is the big wish card that comes into reality eventually. It can take up to a year, but not necessarily. It's kind of predicted by the cards around it. And where I see a fast moving three and a very stable six of hearts that, yeah, it's up in the air right now. 
But this next card, the Page of Cups, it's in reverse and the pages are all about swift movement as well. It's about emotional movement and finding that uh, confidence, if you will, and happiness. It's um, with reflection of your emotional um, situation at the moment. So it's all around this Ten of Hearts. So perhaps it could happen rather quickly for you as the Knight of Wands is really about swift movement. The Knight of Wands is a fire energy and it's about improvising and moving forward and a fast pace. This, um, it's about advancements, impulsiveness, it's about being passionate about your craft, your making of your art. And the Four of Swords in counter to that is all about contemplating. It's all about taking a time out, a respite from what you um, have earned, basically. This is a card about reflection on your, your uh, past battles, whatever it is that you've just gone through. With this Five of Pentacles, I can see that as being, you know, maybe some kind of endeavor that was connected to other people. And it's time to be out with the old and in with the new. Get some fresh ideas and move forward. Maybe uh, contemplating your, your wish, if you will, is a good way to figure out what to wish for. <laughs> you want to be very specific in your wishing <laughs> because what you wish for, you manifest. So you got to be very clear about that. Source. Let's see what Source would share with you with the Six of Hearts. This is just a beautiful energy. It's emotional fulfillment. It's being validated for your hard work, all of your connections. It's joy and nourishment. It's a fun card in that with your wabi-sabiness of your tribe, <clears throat> excuse me, the finding the wabi-sabiness within your tribe, understanding that people are both yin and yang. They both have positive and negative attributes. And you've got a beautiful way of just understanding that and seeing it and embracing it as part of life. You probably use that to create your art. Beautiful. You've got a Three of Cups here, and this is all about sharing of the emotional fulfillment. The Cups are all about the emotions, and the Threes are about community and gathering. It's sharing good times, friendships, um, creative pleasures. So you definitely have found your tribe. You know how to enjoy every aspect of that and source is telling you you're on the right path there it's the king of swords next now this is a king right so already we're talking nobility and courage this is about um a strong bold lifestyle so i can only imagine what kind of art you're producing and then we have the chariot. So apparently you do this full force. Beautiful, really. This is what I call the rodeo card. You are at the reins and you are riding life with a full force. Wind whipping in your hair and <laughs> completely enjoying the ride. you got to love it. Lovely spread for you. And I love that. What Source would love to share with you as the final card, I find by moving my pendulum across the spread out Soul's Journey deck. And the card for you is balance. Something that you seem to know a little bit about already. 
as a four of hearts, you lead a fairly emotionally balanced and comfortable life, right? We already have said that. I'm going to put that right in the middle of things here. It, uh, and meaning that you are secure in your abilities and you have an innate knowing of your potential. You maneuver obstacles very well. You love to share. You clearly know yourself and your tribe very well. And that is a great place to spring from when creating. However, it can also be fraught with boredom and stagnation when you're not being creatively challenged. Clearly, you can handle a challenge very well. Your spread indicates a strong self, sense of self and well-being, very grounded, even and that you do it with, well, with compassion and empathy. I mean, you've just got so many beautiful hearts here in your spread. It's always an interesting topic to find out what artists do to get to that place of balance that they create from. There are always seems to be a challenge and an impetus for stepping into the next creative thing. It definitely seems like you find that through your tribe. Well, that being said, <clears throat> when was the last time you paid that kind of attention to yourself? Just taking a moment, right, to reflect upon what it is that, right, with that beautiful, beautiful ideas, that, uh, right, that, that, uh, it's, Source is sharing that it's time to take care of yourself as much as you take care of everyone else. It's that old put the oxygen mask on yourself first so that you can help others get theirs on. So it's worth asking yourself if there is a person, place, or thing within your tribe that has you off balance. Is it time to find the cure or the remedy to set things right again? the balancing, if you will, of discovering and understanding what it is that has you out of balance. As a four of hearts, you have an innate talent of being able to view things as neither good or bad. They just are. You have the ability to see both sides of a situation, that wabi-sabi, yin-yang, positive-negative, objective perspective, <laughs> and thus learn something about yourself in the process of that, right here. So you know we all have our own unique, authentic lives to live and reap the benefits of insight and compassion to create awesome art along the way, and for you, with your tribe, to share it. Beautiful, beautiful spread. Well, I hope all of you Four of Hearts out there found this interesting and helpful. You can watch your card videos for your sun, moon, Venus, and so on placements and contemplate those readings as well. Happy creating. So creative, stay true to your uniqueness on your creative path, and I hope this gave you some food for thought. Please subscribe and hit that like button. It means a lot to me and my soul and life purpose. Thank you.